First on 11 Alive this Saturday, the Atlanta skyline had extra sparkle tonight. Take a look at that. It was filled with a sea of fireworks. Just beautiful. This is what it looked like about an hour ago from Centennial Olympic Park, where an annual holiday tradition returned. Now, this is one of the largest fireworks shows in the country, and people from all over the U.S. come right here to our own backyard to see this show. 11 Alive, Teresa Bowles has been at the park all day, and Teresa, you've had great live reports. So you had the best seat in the house. I really did. The fireworks show was amazing. Event workers are now breaking everything down, and the crowd has gone home after a long, hot, and humid day of fun. Music as a little distraction, and this crowd needed it because it started off very hot. 95 degree weather didn't stop them. I watched Demetrius Noble pat dry the sweat dropping down his face, just waiting to get into Centennial Park. Push on through it anyway. Yeah, yeah. we here now. Noble's from Chicago, though he's had a year to get used to the dog days of a Georgia summer. It's pretty hot up north right now too, so you know, regardless of where I'd be, I'd be feeling this way anyway if I was outside. Some visitors did come from slightly north of Atlanta. Megan Hammett bringing her three-year-old Annabelle driving hours from Conyers, North Carolina. Four and a half hours. To be exact, because they didn't want to miss Look Up Atlanta. I wanted to see the fireworks. They picked the right place. This is the largest metropolitan fireworks celebration in the country. Unimpressed, Annabelle was more interested in the stuff for kids. Did you like the balloons? Yeah. But beating the heat was no joke. There were plenty of food and drinks to go around, but park goers were not allowed to bring coolers, tents, or large bags. So they figured it out with a lot of hydration. My grandbaby's got these water fans that they're using. But me, hey, I have been here a while. I know how to deal with it. And if that wasn't enough. Taking breaks in the car. <laughs> Air conditioning breaks. Then as the evening progressed, gray clouds started threatening the show. Noble didn't care about the rain. He was there to support his son, Meech. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Who hit the stage along with nine others. For this determined crowd, the sacrifices for Independence Day were worth it. Yeah, even if he's not on the show, I'm coming back. Yeah. Overall, the blazing heat nor the chance of rain stopped this from being a popping night. Live in Atlanta, Teresa Bowles, 11 Alive News.